On Tuesday, August 18th, the Vice President, Dr. Baumia, presented the status of the various projects the MPP administration promised to deliver to the people of Ghana. He also launched a delivery tracker portal for Ghanaians to check and verify the existence of said projects. The City News team set out to the Adentan municipality, where government claims to have completed some 11 roads and three schools. We set off at Lakeside Estate make our way to Asheye Ampoma village, and finally to Doku. At Lakeside Estate, the road looks worked on, but still has huge potholes. Kabina, a resident, talks to us about drainage issues and its impact on the road. The road was constructed two years ago, and we have some patchy uh, um, uh, uh, potholes on it, and the potholes was repaired about six months ago. And uh, this area is, uh, we have a big problem here because from the gate side to the third junction, this, is a va this place has become a valley. So when it rains, water from all the four angles com come together here and no car can cross and no car can come out. It affects us here a lot because for me, for organizer like this, I deal with the cars and the road. When inflating somebody's tie, Drivers dodge portals and drive towards me straight. And sometimes I get up and run from the road and give them way to pass. At Ashiye Ampoma village, Asha, also a resident, says although the community is ecstatic about the completion of the three-unit classroom block, the sizes of the classrooms are too small for the number of students. The schools have to JHS1. If not enrolled JHS2 yet, it's only up to JHS1. But one thing I've observed is the class sizes, the class sizes are too small. And the number in the classes are too much. They are above the class sizes. The kids are uh, congested. At first, um, in a class, they are 52 plus. But now, I learned 70 plus. But the class sizes are just small, small, small. But now, they're 70 plus, and some are even sitting on the veranda. They don't even really get uh, decks or space in the classroom itself. So they sit on the veranda. Finally at Doku, a resident tells us more about the road which looks complete without any potholes. What I know much about the road is that formerly it had some potholes and but they used to patch it timely. But when the change of government came, that was after um, 2016 election. Yeah. It was from the first year of the very government that I saw there was this big asphalt being done. As a rider, you need to get a smooth road, you understand? And when you have a smooth road, you have a smooth riding. There's no this kind of dodging portals and a whole lot of things that will cause an accident, you know.